Welcome to this session on modeling steel beams. Continuing with our steel framing, in this session you will learn how to use the steel beam tool to model steel beams in Open Buildings Designer. We'll use the by grid option for the placement option. We'll set the floor selector to locate the tops of the beams at the correct Z elevation. We will also use the automatic coping option to trim the ends of the beams to the face of the columns. So let's start by setting the floor selector to Floor 2, Top of Steel 2. From the Structural tab on the ribbon, select the Steel Beam tool. The Property panel opens, showing the catalog properties for Place Beam, and the ribbon now displays the Placement Place tab with options for the placement of the beams. We'll set the placement to Top Center with rotation to zero, and interactive toggled off. We'll set the place by method to grid. We'll also turn on automatic coping and set the coping options to cope to any interfering member. This will cope the beams to the columns. We'll set the inside corner to round and the flange clearance to one inch or 25 millimeters the web clearance to 3 quarters of an inch, or 20 millimeters, and the corner radius to a half inch, or 12 millimeters. Now in the property panel, we'll set the catalog item to example main steel beam. This particular catalog item is delivered with the training work set, and it has a default section size already set. Section sizes can be selected from a pull-down. We'll stay with the W12 by 35 section, or that would be the UC 305 by 305 by 137 if you are working with the metric data set. The structural finish is painted. The structural function is structural. The ID type ID is steel beam. And the ID item ID should be B3. The phase should be set to new construction. This is all information that will be attached to our model. We will now select segments of grid lines between columns in order to define the beam location. Working in the top view, I'll drag the cursor from right to left between grids E and F to select the segments of grids 1 through 4 between E and F. I'll use the control key to deselect the minor grid, the one with no grid bubble. Following my prompts, I'm going to left click in any view to accept the placement, and the steel beams are placed at the selected grid sections. The top of the beam is placed at the Z elevation of floor 2, top of steel 2, based on the selection in the floor selector. We will repeat that process for each bay, quickly placing all the beams in the horizontal direction. If I zoom into the connection between the beam and the column, we can see that the beam has been cut back or coped to the face of the column. Now we will select the grid segments in the other direction and place the rest of the beams that frame this floor. Once that's done, I will change the floor selector to Floor Roof, Top of Steel Roof, and repeat the process for the steel roof beams. Note that simply changing the floor selector adjusts the location of the grid and therefore the placement of the beam. Once the beams are placed, expand the Items tab in the Explorer and note that all the beams are listed and can be selected both from the model or from the Items list. In the next session, we will use referencing to coordinate the structural model with the architectural model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.